Shalom everyone, may the Lord bless you. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I am your host, Brother Kevin. Thank you very much for joining us. Shalom to you all. Shalom to your families. May the Lord bless you all. Please do not forget to follow us on the social media platforms at Midnight Prayer Podcast. Please also follow us on the major streaming platforms at Midnight prayer podcast shalom to you all where you are thank you very much for joining us may the lord bless you all please dearly beloved please kindly share the live stream link from whatever platform you are following us from be it facebook or youtube please kindly share the live stream link share with your contacts share in your groups share with your social media network and invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the lord Invite someone to come and join us in prayer. So shalom to you all. Welcome once again to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So we are starting our prayer. I'm going to do the opening prayer and we're going to get started. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and the earth, thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come into your presence. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad within it. Father in heaven, we commit this moment of prayer into your hands. And we pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to guide us. We pray, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to speak to us. We pray, Father, for your Holy Spirit to restore us and to deliver us through this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Your word says to us, Father, that man shall not live by bread alone, but man shall live by every word which proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. You said, Father, you will rescue those who love you and you'll protect those who trust in your name. You said, Heavenly Father, if anyone comes to Christ, Father, they have become a new person. The old life is gone and the new life has begun. We declare through this prayer, Heavenly Father, that the old life is gone. We declare through this prayer, Father, that every burden that we enter this prayer with is removed in the name of Jesus. We declare through this prayer, Heavenly Father, that the chains are broken. We declare through this prayer, Heavenly Father, that we will see your power and we will see your glory in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead for the protection of the blood of Christ to cover us, to cover our homes, to cover our families in the mighty name of Jesus. And we pray, Heavenly Father, for your reign, for your reign, your dominion, your rule, your sovereignty to be upon each and every single one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you thanksgiving, Father, and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you. Welcome once again to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So as I mentioned last week, we've paused the theme of um, dreams, seeds, alliances, spiritual marriages, we are going to carry on with that after, maybe after this one. So we're going to carry on with keys, Revelations 3, Revelations 2, the theme that we started last week. We're going to do this for a bit and then we're probably going to come back to dreams after. We'll see how the Holy Spirit leads us. But on the topic of dreams, if you can, dearly beloved, those prayers that we were doing, they're very important prayers. You can always go back to it and repeat it. Especially the ones with the spiritual marriages, they are very, very, very good. So if you get time, please do repeat it and follow it up with some declarations. It will be very helpful for you. May the Lord bless you. So we are going to carry on from where we left off uh, last week. Please accept my apologies for Thursday and Friday. Thursday we had service in the evening and I was very tired and Friday we had our church prayer in the evening and it was quite difficult to come and do the podcast please accept my apologies I'm not making excuses just in case anyone thinks that I'm just trying to make excuses but please accept my apologies I had to um, be in a church prayer but we're going to make an effort to work around this moving forward may the Lord bless you So today I want to talk about one or two or maybe three types of doors. And just as we mentioned last week in Revelations 3.8, today I just wanted to say God is always going to have the final say when it comes to doors. Even the doors that we mentioned last week, the doors which may be doors of protection, boundaries, Doors of uh, restriction, access, doors for opportunities, doors which symbolize the beginning or the end of an era or something like that. 
God will always have the final say when it comes to those types of doors. We're going to look at those doors once again another time, maybe during the week. God will always have the final say, as written in Revelation 3.8. He is the one who opens and no one can shut. And if he shuts or closes a door, no one can open it. So he is the one who has the final say. He is the ultimate giver of access to all good things. James 1.17 says, Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God, our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. God desires for us, his people, to live a life full of abundance and purpose. If we read John 10 verses 10, the word says to us, The thief's purpose is to steal and kill and destroy. My purpose is to give them a rich and satisfying life. So the only way for us to live a rich and satisfying life, a life of peace, a life of joy, a life of happiness, fruitfulness, the only way for us to live this life is through Jesus Christ. If you read verses 9 of John 10, he says, Yes, I am the gate. His dearly beloved, in other words, means he is the door. He is the access point. He is the only way through. There is no other. He says, those who come in through me will be saved. They will come and go freely and will find good pastures. If you want to find good pastures, dearly beloved, the way is Jesus. If you want to find good pastures, dearly beloved, the way is is Jesus. He says himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. So dearly beloved, there's no other door or any other gate you can take. There's no other way that you can go to access the Father, to access blessings. There's no other way but through Jesus Christ. The word of God says the gateway to life is very narrow and the road very difficult and only a few will ever enter it only a few dearly beloved so god dearly beloved is the door to life he is the gateway he is the only way to life matthew seventeen thirteen, the verse before says you can enter god's kingdom only through the narrow gate So that's the main door that I wanted to talk to you about today. Another door, dearly beloved, is the enemy. The enemy's main purpose is to stop the will of God. The enemy's main purpose is to cause destruction, to bring fear, to bring doubt. The enemy's main purpose is to stop everyone, you and I, to stop all of us from entering the narrow gate so that we can enter into his gate, the broad gate, the wide gate. So they can carry out their mission to steal, kill and destroy. This is why it's important for us children of God to have discernment. It is very important for us children of God to have discernment. Not everything that glitters is gold. We need to remember this. And not everything that is gold is actually gold. Some things that appear gold are actually gold plated. And not everything that is attractive is good for you. Don't lose a diamond while chasing glitter. Dearly beloved, not every smile is real. Not every smile is real. And not every tear is genuine. What am I trying to say? The enemy is not going to make the door look like the door of the grave or the door of destruction or the door of death. The enemy is not going to make their door appear or look evil because then you will not enter it. You will not enter it. This is why the gift of discernment is important. The gift of discernment is crucial, dearly beloved. 
listen dearly beloved in your arsenal of weapons or in your your storehouse in your treasury dearly beloved the gift of discernment has to be in there if it's not in there dearly beloved then you are going to be in trouble because if he's saying to us i'm gonna set a door in front of you that no one can shut who is that one that he's referring to that is going to come and try shut the door it's the enemy it is the enemy the enemy is the one who he is referring to that is going to try and shut the door but he's not going to be able to do it because overwhelming victory has already been given unto us through christ jesus may the lord bless you all shalom to you all where you are this is the midnight prayer podcast and i'm your host brother kevin thank you to those of you who are inviting your families and friends those of you who are sharing the live stream link those of you who are inviting others to come and join us in the presence of the lord may the lord bless you all richly may the lord bless you all abundantly shalom to you all where you are just wanted to also kindly inform you all today tuesday evening we have our bible study from 7 30 and the invitation is going to be shared on youtube and facebook you're all welcome to join us so we are going to be gathering from 7 30 p.m and we will be on zoom feel free to join us feel free to invite your families and friends also on friday night the english service the morning service at i am church is hosting its first worship night you're all free to come and join and participate with us in worship we are going to be at our church address one philip lane london n15 4 ja you are all welcome may the lord bless you all so we are going to start our prayer so let's begin to thank the lord for everything that he has done let's begin to glorify the lord let's begin to magnify him let's begin to lift him up in the name of jesus father we thank you and we praise you because you are the most high god we thank you and we praise you because you are the alpha and the omega we thank you and we praise you because you are the beginning and the end and the first and the last thank you father for allowing us to come into your presence thank you father for this grace you have given to us thank you father for your mercy in our lives thank you father for your great power and your great strength in our lives in the name of jesus daily we love to begin to thank the lord thank him for everything that he has done thank him for his goodness and his wonderfulness thank him for his loving kindness thank him dearly beloved for allowing you to see the last week of the month of june thank him in the name of jesus father we are appreciative father we are thankful for your goodness for your protection for your mercy for your compassion in our lives we come before you to plead for your mercy begin to plead for his mercy where you are in the name of jesus father in heaven show us your mercy show us your compassion Forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done which did not give you glory. Forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done which made us come out of your presence. Forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done which brought sorrow to your Holy Spirit. Have mercy upon us, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that those who hide their transgressions, they will not prosper. But those who turn away from them and abandon them, they shall find mercy before your sight. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive us, your children, in the name of Jesus. Your word says if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just, Father, to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness. Forgive us, your children, in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says you'll forgive our wickedness and you'll never again remember our sins. Forgive us, Lord, for everything that we've done. We should not give you glory in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, begin to plead for the blood of Christ. For his word says without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. For his word says we were washed and we were sanctified. We were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. For his word says in the name of Jesus that this is my blood which confirms Confirms the covenant between God and his people. It is poured out for the forgiveness of sins of many. It is poured out as a sacrifice for many. Dearly beloved, plead for the blood of Jesus. For his word says in Christ, we have redemption through his blood and we have forgiveness of our sins. For his word says to us in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, sanctify them by your truth and your word is truth. For his word says, dearly beloved, if I am living in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with each other and he cleanses me in the blood of Jesus Christ, his son. Plead for the blood 
of Jesus to wash you, plead for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you, plead for the blood of Jesus to sanctify you, plead for the blood of Jesus to purify you, plead for the blood of Jesus to make you whiter than snow. In the name of Jesus, plead for the blood of Christ where you are, dearly beloved. In the name of Jesus, for his word says that now we are united with Christ Jesus. Once we were far away from God, but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. Father, we plead for your blood. In the name of Jesus, we plead, Father, for your blood. In the name of Jesus, we plead, Father, for your blood. In the name of Jesus, to wash, to purify, to sanctify, to renew, to restore, to bless. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Beloved begin to invite his Holy Spirit. For his word says, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Invite the Holy Spirit where you are in the name of Jesus. Invite him in in the name of Jesus Christ. For his word says, if you love me, obey my commandments. And I'll ask the Father to send you another advocate who will never leave you. That is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. Invite the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Invite the Spirit of wisdom. Invite the Spirit of understanding. Invite the Spirit of freedom. Invite the Spirit of Jesus Christ to come and take control. In the name of Jesus. For his word says to us, in the name of Jesus Christ, those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. For his word says to us, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the Holy Spirit guide your life so then you will not be doing what your sinful nature craves. Holy Spirit, we are inviting you. Manifest your power in today's prayer. Manifest your power in our homes and in our families. In the name of Jesus Christ, the beloved begin to pray. His word says that those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. His word says those who are joined to the Lord are one spirit with him. Invite the Holy Spirit into your prayer. Invite the Holy Spirit to take control of your home. Invite the Holy Spirit to take control of the atmosphere. Invite the Holy Spirit to take control of your whole entire area, your territory, your family. Invite the Holy Spirit to come and dominate inside of your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, say, Holy Spirit, I commit my home into your hands. I commit this house into your hands. I commit my children into your hands. Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, have your way. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, dearly beloved, every instrument that the enemy is using inside of your home. And when I mean instrument, I mean object elements, anything that is inside of your home, furniture, clothes, anything that the enemy is using inside of your home for bewitchments, for manipulations, for incantations, anything that the enemy has touched in your home, anything that the enemy has contaminated in your home, anything that the enemy is depending on inside of your home that is serving as an access point, that is serving as a door, that is serving as a mirror, that is serving as a point of contact, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray dearly beloved where you are. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever the enemy has planted inside of my home that is serving as a point of contact wherever the enemy has planted inside of my home that is serving as a channel as an access point that is serving as a mirror that is serving as a microphone that is serving as a device for control i am commanding it to receive fire in the name of jesus christ the word of god says for our god is a devouring fire the word of god says our lord will fight for us the word of god says they will fight us but they will fail the word of god says in the name of jesus sir, that they will be controlled consumed by fire pray in the name of jesus christ wherever the enemy has planted inside of your home command it to be destroyed by fire in the name of jesus declare me and my household we shall serve the lord wherever is responding to the voice of the enemy wherever is responding to bewitchments to incantations to evil decrees to evil orders to evil laws wherever is responding to evil alliances wherever is responding to evil curses inside of my home i'm commanding it to receive fire fire in the name of Jesus Christ wherever is planted inside of my home that is cooperating with the kingdom of darkness I am commanding it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ wherever is planted or established in my home through water spirits through spirits from the forest terrestrial spirits spirits of animals spirits of the dead spirits of the world of the dead celestial spirits I am commanding you in the name of Jesus to receive fire in the name of Jesus receive 
fire in the name of Jesus. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. There is no relationship between the light and the darkness. I'm commanding you to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Command those plants that they have planted. Command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Daily beloved, pray in the name of Jesus. Wherever is planted, wherever is hiding inside of your home, wherever is buried inside of your home, wherever daily beloved has been attached to your home through alliances, through evil words or through your dreams, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Every object that's inside of your home physically that is contaminating your home, every object that is inside of your home physically that is making your home open to the kingdom of darkness that is making your home visible to the kingdom of darkness that is making your home accessible to the kingdom of darkness that is serving as a point of contact between your home and the kingdom of darkness command it to receive the fire of the holy spirit in the name of jesus command it to receive the fire of the holy spirit in the name of jesus the word of god says be assured today that the lord your god is the one who goes across ahead of you like a devouring fire say father go ahead of me like a devouring fire father go ahead of me like a devouring fire father go ahead of me like a devouring fire you said they will fight me but they will fail you said that you are a devouring fire you said that you are a consuming fire father in heaven in the name of jesus everything that is planted inside this house that is making my home accessible that is making my home accessible in the kingdom of darkness through alliances or through laws through spiritual marriages or through dreams i am commanding it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Daily beloved, begin to pray where you are in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray every alliance that is established in your father's lineage, in your mother's lineage, that is controlling your life, that is dominating your life, that is manipulating your life, that is influencing your life, that is imprisoning your life. Every alliance, every covenant, every evil contract that is established between your father's lineage and spirits of sorcery and spirits from the water, spirits of of the deceased spirits of the world of the dead or spirits of animals idols divinities pray in the name of jesus break that alliance break that covenant break that alliance break that covenant in the name of jesus the word of god says a day is coming when god will make a new covenant with these people israel and judah did he love you pray in the name of jesus break that alliance in the name of jesus christ every alliance every covenant that is established in your father's lineage in your mother's lineage that's dominating your life that is controlling manipulating imprisoning your life through your blood break that alliance in the name of jesus christ the word of god says now we are united with christ jesus once we were far away from god but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of christ the word of god says we can enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of jesus christ Break every alliance that is established in your father's lineage, in your mother's lineage, with the serpent, with the siren, with sea monsters, with spirits from the forest, with spirits from the grave, from the cemetery, from the mountains, from the hills, with spirits of the forest. Break that alliance daily, beloved. Break that alliance in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says he cancelled the first covenant in order to put the second into effect. Break that alliance in the name of Jesus. Every covenant and every alliance from my ancestors every covenant and every alliance established in my father's lineage in my mother's lineage in my lineage that is dominating me through my blood i declare in the name of jesus i was washed i was sanctified i was justified in the name of our lord jesus christ and in the spirit of our god and if anyone comes to christ they have become a new person the old life is gone and the new life has begun to all who believed him and accepted him he gave them the right to become his children break the old alliance break the old covenant break the old alliance break the old covenant in the name of jesus christ break the old alliance break the old covenant daily beloved in the name of jesus christ break that covenant break that covenant break that covenant in the name of jesus christ every covenant and every alliance that is established in your father's lineage in your mother's lineage that has sold that has dedicated that has initiated that has established your soul that has ordained your soul to serve to worship or to be protected by spirits in the forest, by spirits in the water, by spirits of the dead, by spirits of the world of the dead. Break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that alliance in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Every
every covenant from your father's lineage, from your mother's lineage, from your father's house, from your mother's house that you have inherited through your blood, that you have inherited through your blood. Daily beloved, declare in the name of Jesus, we are the children of the prophets and we are included in a covenant God promised to our ancestors. For God said to Abraham, through your descendants, all the families on earth will be blessed. The word of God says, when God speaks of a new covenant, it means he has made the first one obsolete. It is now out of date and it will soon disappear. Break that old covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant that is declaring that I am ordained or that I am protected or that I am dedicated to or that I am initiated or that I am married to a spirit in the water, to a spirit in the forest, to a spirit in the cemetery or to a spirit in the mountains or in the hills or to a spirit in the celestial places. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that covenant is broken. That covenant is broken to all who believed him and accepted him. He gave them the right to become his children. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that old covenant from my origin is broken. Those who are joined to the Lord are one spirit with him. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that blood covenant, that blood covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. It is broken in the name of Jesus. The word of God says dearly beloved that you and I, we are the children of the prophets. Break the old covenant in the name of Jesus. His word says that he made us ministers of the new covenant and under the new covenant the spirit gives life in the name of Jesus. Say the spirit gives life. The spirit gives life. The spirit gives life. We are made alive with Christ because our sins are forgiven. We are made alive with Christ because our sins are forgiven and he cancelled the records of charges against us and he took it away by nailing it to the cross and in this way he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities and he shamed them publicly by his victory over them on a cross. Break that covenant. Break that alliance in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant that is established in your father's lineage, in your mother's lineage, every covenant daily beloved that is declaring that you are married to the serpent, that you are married to sirens or you are married to dead people or that you are married to spirits of animals, lions, leopards, crocodiles, gorillas, wild animals, every covenant and every alliance that is established in your father's lineage, in your mother's lineage that you have inherited through your blood that is declaring that you are protected by idols, you are protected by divinities or false gods in the water, in the forest, in the jungle. Break that covenant, break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ, break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. A day is coming when God will make a new covenant with his people, Israel and Judah. Break the old covenant in the name of Jesus, break the old covenant in the name of Jesus, break the old covenant dearly beloved in the name of Jesus. His word says because of the covenant I made with you, sealed with blood, I will free your prisoners from death in a waterless dungeon. Break the old covenant in the name of Jesus. Break the old covenant in the name of Jesus. Break the old covenant in the name of Jesus. Say through Jesus Christ, we have received the same blessing that was promised to Abraham. Through Jesus Christ, I can receive the same blessing that was promised to Abraham. Through Jesus Christ, I can receive the same blessing that was promised to Abraham. The word of God says, now that I belong to Christ, I am a true child of Abraham. Now I belong to Christ, I am a true child of Abraham. Declare dearly beloved, that old covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. That old covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. That old covenant is broken in the name of Jesus. Pray dearly beloved, wherever that covenant is established, wherever that covenant was signed, wherever that covenant is established, wherever that covenant was sealed, wherever that alliance took place, wherever that door was opened, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Send fire, send fire, send fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant, every evil alliance that is established in your life. Dearly beloved, I want you to pray, 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 pray. I want you to pray. Send fire to the source. Send fire to the source. Send fire to the source. Where did that covenant take place? Where did that covenant take place? Send fire to the source. Wherever that covenant was established, wherever that covenant was signed, sealed, confirmed. Send fire. Send fire. Send fire in the name of Jesus. Send fire in the name of Jesus. Send fire in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, send fire in the name of Jesus. Send fire to wherever that covenant was established, wherever that covenant was confirmed, wherever that alliance took place. Send fire to burn that place up in the name of Jesus. Send fire to burn that place up in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray, dearly beloved, wherever that alliance was established, indoors or outdoors, send fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ to consume that place. The word of God says for our God is a devouring fire. Send fire to burn that place up in the name of Jesus Christ. Send fire. Send the fire.
fire of the Holy Spirit to blow that place up into flames in the mighty name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Send fire to burn that place up. Turn that place into a barren wilderness. Command the fire of the Holy Spirit to consume that whole entire place. Command the fire of the Holy Spirit to consume that whole entire place up in the name of Jesus Christ. Send fire wherever that alliance is established, wherever that alliance took place in your name. Pray dearly beloved, wherever you was present or absent, wherever you were present or absent, send fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Send fire to burn that place up in the mighty name of Jesus and declare in that place uh, there is no hope but fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Send fire in the name of Jesus Christ in that place, uh, in that area, in that house. Uh, there is no hope but the fire of the Holy Spirit, but the fire of the Holy Spirit. Every alliance established in that place, uh, in that area, in that house uh, that has established me with the serpent. Every alliance that has established in that place that has attached my soul to the spirit of the serpent or to the spirit of the siren. Every alliance in that place that has sold my soul, that has initiated or that has dedicated or that has enthroned my soul to water spirits or to spirits of sorcery, spirits of animals, terrestrial spirits, spirits of the dead, spirits of the world of the dead. Every alliance establishing my soul, every alliance establishing my soul with those demons, with those idols and those divinities in that place, in that house, in that area, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Send Holy Ghost fire to the source. Send Holy Ghost fire. Send Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Send Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, it was in that place that the door was opened. Send Holy Ghost fire to burn that place up. Send Holy Ghost fire to burn that place up. Whether it is in your hometown or in your place of birth, in the house you grew up in, send fire to that house in the name of Jesus. Send fire, dearly beloved, to burn that house up in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that's inside of that house that is condemning you, that is reclaiming you, that is invoking your name, command it to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every registration of your name, of your life in that place, dearly beloved, every representation of your life or of your soul or of your blood in that place, whether it is in your house or in your paternal home, your maternal home, the fourth house, the houses of friends, send fire, the houses of exes, send fire in the name of Jesus Christ, send Holy Ghost fire to blow that house up into flames in the name of Jesus. The word of God says they will live in a barren wilderness. It will be salty. It will be uninhabited in the name of Jesus Christ. Their leaves will not be green. Their leaves will be dry. It will wither in the name of Jesus. Send fire. Send fire. Send fire. Send fire. Send fire in the name of Jesus. Send fire dearly beloved to burn that place up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every divinity and every idol that's in that place. Every altar that's in that place dearly beloved reclaiming your soul reclaiming your life every altar that you have been sold to in that place every alliance established in that place reverse that place dearly beloved by fire reverse that altar by fire in the name of Jesus Christ send fire send fire in the name of Jesus send fire in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved pray in the name of Jesus send fire to burn that place up in the mighty name of Jesus send fire dearly beloved send fire dearly beloved send fire dearly beloved beloved in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ send fire send fire send fire send fire send fire send fire in the mighty name of Jesus send fire in the name of Jesus Christ 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 send fire send fire send fire send fire send fire in the name of Jesus send fire in the name of Jesus send fire in the name of Jesus Christ Send fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Send fire, dearly beloved, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door, dearly beloved, that has been opened for your life in that house. Every artificial door that has been opened for your life inside that house. Command that artificial door to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that artificial door to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil door that has been opened for your life inside that house. Every evil door that has been opened for your life in the house that you live in or at your workplace or in your area wherever dearly beloved pray dearly beloved every evil door that the alliance which took place inside the house has opened for my life the alliance with my father's lineage or my mother's lineage friends ex-partners pray in the name of Jesus every door that these alliances have opened in my life I am commanding that door to receive fire I am commanding
commanding that artificial door to receive fire. Command those doors to receive fire. Command those doors to receive fire. Command those doors to receive fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, send fire, send fire, send fire, send fire, send fire. In the name of Jesus, every alliance with the water spirits, every alliance with the spirits of sirens, with the spirits of serpents, every alliance with the spirits from the forest, spirits of animals, spirits of the dead, spirits of the deceased, every door that you have opened for my life, I am commanding that door to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that door to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door of death, every door of sickness, every door of disease, every door of stagnation, every door of regression, every door of lack of progress, every door of poverty, every door of debt, every door of dryness, every door of celibacy, every door of infertility, every door of divorce, every door of limitation. Command that door to receive fire. Command that door to be burnt up by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Alliance of my father's house. Alliance of my mother's house. Alliance established with friends in the kingdom of darkness. Alliance established with ex-partners in the kingdom of darkness. Every evil door that you have opened in my life. Every evil door that you have opened in me. Every evil door that you have opened in my home. Every evil door that you have opened where the alliance was established. I'm commanding that door to receive fire in the name of Jesus. I was given the key to the kingdom of heaven. Wherever I open here on earth shall be opened in heaven. Wherever I close here on earth shall be closed in heaven. Command that door to receive fire. Command that door to receive fire in the name of Jesus. You were not given a spirit of timidity and fear, but you were given a spirit of love, power, self-discipline. The word of God says that you, dearly beloved, you are a minister of the new covenant. And under the new covenant, the spirit gives life in the name of Jesus. He calls you his royal priesthood, his holy nation. You are his prized possession in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Command that door to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil door that ex-partners, friends have opened in your life. Every evil door neighbors, colleagues have opened in your life. Every evil door from pastors of darkness that have opened your life to failure, that have opened your life to lack of progress, that have opened your life to sickness, to poverty, to misfortune, to problems, to suffering. Pray in the name of Jesus. Command that door to receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, receive fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, for our God is a devouring fire. Dearly beloved, burn that door up in the name of Jesus. Command that door to be consumed by fire. Command that door to be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever that door is opened, pray in the name of Jesus. Be it in your hometown, your place of birth, in your father's village, your mother's village, or where the alliance was established, or in your body. Pray in the name of Jesus. Command that door to receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, Behold, they shall be a stubble, and the fire shall burn them, and they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. It shall not be a call to be warmed by or nor a fire to sit before. Command that door, dearly beloved, to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Door of terrestrial spirits, door of spirits of animals, door of water spirits, door of spirits of sirens, door of the serpent. Every artificial evil door opened in my life. I am commanding that door to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, the word of God says, if God is for you, no one can be against you. The word of God says they will fight you, but they will fail. Pray in the name of Jesus and command those doors to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those doors to receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. His word says you were given the key to the house of David, the highest position in the royal court. You will open doors that no one can close. You will close doors that nobody can open in the name of Jesus Christ. Command those doors to receive fire in the name of Jesus. His word says in this way he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities and he shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross in the name name of Jesus Christ. Declare Jesus Christ disarmed spiritual rulers and authorities. 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 Jesus Christ disarmed spiritual rulers and authorities and he shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demon in your environment that is controlling, that is attacking 
that is manipulated pray in the name of Jesus and declare that you have a portion you have a part in the blood of Jesus Christ pray dearly beloved pray dearly beloved pray dearly beloved every spirit mandated to your environment mandated to your home mandated to your place of residence or where you sleep or in your bed every spirit mandated to control to attack to manipulate to influence to monitor declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you have a part in the blood of Jesus declare in the name of Jesus Christ that my home has a part my home has a portion my home has a share in the blood of Jesus Christ begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around your home begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around your home begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around your home begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around your home in the name of Jesus begin to pray dearly beloved every altar and every layout that is serving as a habitat for demons command it to be destroyed in the name of Jesus every altar every layout every area inside of my home inside of my home or outside of my home that is serving as a habitat for demons to attack me that is serving as a habitat for demons to control me to protect me to use me to manipulate me to monitor me I'm commanding that altar that layout that habitat of demons to receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire receive fire in the name of Jesus every siege of demons in my home I'm commanding that siege to receive fire in the name of Jesus dearly beloved pray every siege of demons dearly beloved that has been planted that has been imposed that has been installed by your paternal home your maternal home every siege of demons every meeting point every access point of demons every layout every habitat of demons in your home or in your body in your area command it to receive holy ghost fire in the name of jesus command it to receive holy ghost fire in the name of jesus command it to receive holy ghost fire in the name of jesus command that siege of demons dearly beloved to receive fire in the name of jesus command that siege to receive fire in the name of jesus be it dearly beloved in your front room in your kitchen in your bedroom on your your bed in your corridor in your vehicle pray in the name of jesus at your main door your front door your back garden every siege of demons dearly beloved in your clothes in your shoes pray in the name of jesus command that siege in the toilet of demons the habitat of demons to receive fire holy ghost fire to cast them out holy ghost fire to bring them out holy ghost fire to remove them in the name of jesus christ send holy ghost fire 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 to cast them out in the name of Jesus. Send Holy Ghost fire to cast them out in the name of Jesus. Send Holy Ghost fire. Send Holy Ghost fire. Send Holy Ghost fire to cast them out in the name of Jesus. Invoke the blood of Jesus all around your home. Invoke the blood of Jesus all around your home. Invoke the blood of Jesus all around your home in the name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, every siege of demons, every siege of demons mandated or sent by my person maternal home my maternal home siblings friends ex-partners pray in the name of jesus christ command that siege dearly beloved to become the blood of jesus command that siege of demons to be transformed into the blood of jesus command that siege of demons to be transformed into the blood of jesus into the blood of jesus into the blood of jesus say me and my household we shall serve the lord in the name of jesus christ say me and my household we shall serve the lord in the name of jesus christ say me and my household we shall serve the lord in the name of Jesus Christ me and my household we shall serve the Lord we shall serve the Lord we shall serve the Lord in the name of Jesus me and my household we shall serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ me and my household we shall serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ sprinkle the blood of Jesus sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around your home in the name of Jesus Christ sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around your home in the name of Jesus Christ and begin to declare inside of my home I am opening the door of heaven inside of my home I am opening Opening the door of heaven, I sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around this house, and I open the door of heaven in the name of Jesus. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus all around this house, and I open the door of heaven in the name of Jesus. I was given the key to the house of David, the highest position in the royal court. I was given the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Wherever I open here on earth shall be open in heaven. Wherever I close here on earth is closed in heaven. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ every evil door that opened through alliances. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Christ, those doors are closed. Those doors are closed. Those doors from this day forth, moving forward, are closed in the name of Jesus Christ. And I open the door of heaven. I open the door of heaven. I declare by faith, the door of heaven is open inside of my home. I declare by faith, the door of heaven is open inside of my home. The door of heaven is open inside of me in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says, I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Because the word of God says, I can enter into heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. Declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I open a door of heaven. I open a door of heaven inside of my home. I am opening the door of heaven, the door of grace, the door of favor, of victory, of freedom, of healing, of restoration, salvation. I open it. The door of blessings. I open it in the name of Jesus. I open it in the name of Jesus. Open the door of heaven in your home, dearly beloved. Sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ inside of your home. Now we are united with Christ Jesus once we were far away from God, but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. Sprinkle the blood of Jesus inside of your home and declare the door of heaven is open inside of my home. The door of holiness, of sanctification, it is open in my home. The door of death in my home is closed. The door of failure in my home is closed. The door of sickness, the door of dryness, it is closed. The door of slavery, manipulation, evil control, it is closed. The door of the siren, the door of the serpent inside of my home, it is closed in the name of Jesus. It is closed in the name of Jesus. It is closed in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare, I will not die, but I will live. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus. I will not die, but I will live. Begin to declare, I am made alive with Christ. I am made alive with Christ. I am made alive with Christ. The power of death is defeated. The power of death is defeated in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare in the name of Jesus Christ. Long life. Begin to declare good health in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare long life. Begin to declare good health in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare, I will not bury my children in the name of Jesus. I will not bury my children in the name of Jesus. I will not die before my time in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare that Jesus Christ is the mediator of the new covenant and Jesus Christ is the guardian of my soul in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ is the mediator of the new covenant and Jesus Christ is the guardian of my soul. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to exalt him. Begin to glorify him. Begin to magnify him. Begin to lift him up. Thank him for everything that he has done. Praise his holy name. Exalt his name. Glorify his name. Magnify his name. Lift his name up in the name of Jesus. Thank him, dearly beloved. Praise his name. Worship him. Glorify him. Magnify him in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to do the closing prayer. Heavenly Father, creator of the heavens and earth, thank you, Lord, for today's intercession. Thank you, Lord, for this moment of prayer that you allowed us to have, Lord, in your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your divine intervention. Thank you, Father, for your mighty hand, which was at work in today's intercession. And thank you, Lord, for all the testimonies which is coming, Lord, after this prayer, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all where you are. May the Lord bless you all for joining us. This was the Midnight Prayer Podcast. And I was your host, Brother Kevin. May the Lord bless you all where you are. Thank you to those of you who invite your families and friends. Those of you who are sharing the live stream link. May the Lord bless you. Those of you who are following us on the major streaming platforms. May the Lord bless you all. Please continue to share. Please continue to invite people to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. Shalom to you all where you are. So dearly beloved, that's it for today. I am going to see you guys tomorrow. For another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast and just wanted to inform you all tomorrow or today from 7.30pm we have a Bible study on Zoom. You are all welcome to join us and also on Friday night we have our worship night at our church address and you are all welcome to join us from 10pm. May the Lord bless you all. I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Good. Bye.